Tēnā nā koutou and welcome to the Mighty website. This website will provide you with an insight of Māori whom have chosen to pursue tertiary education. Māori whom with the support of Fano friends, iwi and hapū have overcome the many challenges along the way. Māori whom with ambition, drive and vision have become successful on their pathway to higher learning. So what does Māori success look like within tertiary education? Let's find out. Kia ora, um, my name is Melissa Cole and I'm from Ngāti Hene and Ngāti Kahu and I've just completed a Bachelor of Communications and I did this at Manukau Institute of Technology. Ko rene ngā wati um, I finished my undergraduate degree at the University of Auckland here. Um, I completed a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Ko hene wai ko Maria uh, I studied at AUT University um, and did a Bachelor of Health Science in Podiatry. Ko tēnē rais ngā tai tōku ingoa. I studied a Bachelor of Design in Visual Arts um, at Unitech with a major in Photography and Media Arts. Ko ka hurangi Taylor tōku ingoa. I'm studying a Bachelor of Science majoring in Human Nutrition at Massey University. The reason that I went into uh, nutrition initially was to help my whānau and the well health and wellbeing of my whānau. But, um, I've now realised that everyone needs help with their nutrition and everyone can better their health and well-being through nutrition. Mum and Dad never really um, said to us you have to go to uni or anything, but it was sort of just an unspoken thing that you know you would do it and you would carry on if you could carry on. Um, I had to overcome ever-sized uh, fear barriers in terms of going back to a learning institution. That would be the that would that would be the the biggest fear barrier I had to get over to complete my degree. I had a baby at, at 19, so I had my first year of university and then I was pregnant going into my second year. And that prolonged my time that I was actually in study. So it took me six years to complete my degree. Um, a few fails along the way, but that's all right. I got there. And so then I was working part-time, um, trying to make connections as much as I could uh, within the university. So doing things like, um, making connections with other students in the university was was vital for for me to get through yeah so i picked papers almost strategically that i knew that i would meet people it was a bit of a shock being the only maori in the photography major of the course because everything i make work about is influenced by maori and my culture and my upbringing so it was in a way it was hard for other students and even tutors to understand um, a lot of my work or to even help me sometimes because they just couldn't relate. So some of the other support I guess that was really helpful when I was studying was um, having my whānau and um, them being understanding about um, being a pōhara student, <laughs> uh, about um, you know needing time to study and um, trying to fit everything in together, like housework and, um, you know, babysitting the nephews or um, going to different whānau things, like I'd, sometimes I miss um, whānau birthdays or whatever because I had assignments or I have had sport and stuff to do. Um, my sister Annabelle was um, an amazing woman and she also took herself back to education and, and really changed her life around. And so every day um, I felt like she was strongly with me, encouraging me and just telling me that I could do it. Every day she would say, you can do it, you can do it. One of my ideas that I have for the future is to set up a base at the Marae along with a, a doctor's, um, doctor's facilities hopefully, which is where my sister wants to go into and I know that a couple of my other cousins want to go into physio. So hopefully we'll have a whole base there at, at our gym at the Marae with um, a whole health facility, hopefully. I've heard of situations where you know, there's a, a, a single mum that's moved up from a rural town and she's found a place in Auckland to come to, come to you know, tertiary study within Auckland. And, and it's not just your immediate whānau or your, your whānau whānau that, that supports you, it's, it's the different types of whānau, so whether it's a, a whānau within the university or it's you know, your workmates or whoever, it's, having those connections and that, those people to surround you are really important. Māori success for me is um, succeeding knowing that you don't do it alone. 
um, that I haven't, I haven't got where I am today um, on my own. I stand here with all of my whānau living and gone. Um, and also Māori success to me is also being really comfortable in who you are, whatever that is. And um, I stand today really comfortable in who I am and proud to be Māori and proud of my achievements. My Fano supported me throughout my three years of study, um, but I think there, there's a bigger picture there that Fano is bigger than just your immediate Fano. Um, I mean, my immediate Fano uh, fed me, drove me around, personally assisted me, um, but I think. I mean, Pukinga, the whānau at Pukinga contributed, um, my friends and their whānau contributed, and it's all, it's all connected, and I think I wouldn't be here today um, without any of them.